for your love you give to us each day. Jesus, we praise you for your faithfulness to us at Christmas time and throughout the year. Jesus, we praise you for your light. You shine through the darkness. Jesus we, Jesus, we praise you for your gift of life to the world. Jesus, we praise you for dying on the cross for our sins. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus, for all your signs of Christmas. Help us to remember you at this special time and all through you, the year. <laughs> Before all of you children sit down, I need a few of you up here. Uh, Christopher, Shelby, Madison, Brittany, Anna, Tommy, Rachel. Christopher is in here, is he? Andrew. Okay, we got five. Why don't you line up and face the congregation, okay? You guys did such a good job. Boy, am I proud of you. All of you did. Well, as you know, a few weeks ago, our children had a contest, a letter contest, where they wrote to a friend. To tell God what, uh, to tell a friend what God had done for them and what He could do for that friend. And um, if any of you were here that service, you know that there was a little bit of a criteria. And I'm sorry, I've got my cane and everything up here. Please forgive me. Um, the board was to read the letters and choose the winner. Um, the rules were that they were to have no more than one page written. Neatness was a very big thing that we stressed. The spelling, we didn't count, or the punctuation on this time. However, if we have another contest, it's going to count, okay? <laughs> this was a one to get you started. And then the context of the letter was important. And then, of course, sincerity, because without sincerity, your friend doesn't know you mean it. Um, so after reviewing all the letters, and you guys did all so good, I was just so impressed. I had to tell the world. Um, we came up with a winner. And I want to have May come and help me give the gifts out. And we're going to just count on down with one person at a time. Andrew, you didn't get your letter to turn in. Some reason we didn't get it, but I know you worked hard on it. Because I saw that you had almost a whole page in there. And I would love to have read it. And if you still have it, I would sure like to read it. 
but because you participated and you really did a good job in really trying to get that turned in on time. Each one of you is going to get two candy canes, and Andrew, you're going to get one of the little badges over there. Miss Meg's going to give them to you, okay? Thank you for participating. Mm -hmm. And then each of you is going to get two big candy canes, and that's just the start, okay? Thank you, Andrew. Can we get an applause for Andrew? He worked hard for Okay, the next two are Rachel and Shelby. You want to step forward? You guys did really good. I read your letters and I appreciate them so much. It was very interesting. You did a good job. You each get two candy canes and you get a badge and you have a box there with a little gift inside of it with your names on it too. And thank you so much for what you did. Okay, we have two left. We have a runner-up and we have the winner. The runner-up did a letter that had so much sincerity in it, I could not believe it. You could just feel it coming off of the words that she wrote. I, I really think she's grown over the last few years and I'm real proud of her. Brittany, thank you for participating, honey. And you get a, two candy canes and you get a, a box with a gift in it, and you also get the lip glosses there, okay? Thank you, Brittany. Winner. Madison is our winner, and I know all the kids are winners, but we have to have one winner, and the board said Madison was it, and I'm so proud of her, and I know all of us will, and I'd like to read her letter, but before I do it, I know she's anxious for her gifts, so Madison. <laughs> You have the two candy canes, you have a box with a gift in it, you have fingernail polish, and you also have a gift card for $10 from Walmart. Wow. So don't lose that. Now you want to stay up here while I read your letter? Would you like to? Okay. This had all the contents that, that we could have said to tell our friend how much Jesus meant to us, what he's done for us, and what he can do for them. And you are amazing, little girl. You covered just about everything there was. Dear Kevin, the Lord can do many things for you. He loves you, and you should love him. He will um, do anything to help you. If you have a problem, just tell him, and he will help you. The ways you will get to know him is to pray, read the Bible, and believe in him. He has done a lot for me, and he char he's changed my life completely. He can change yours, too. Jesus was a miracle. He was born at Christmas. He died for all of our sins. He arose on Easter. You can go to heaven if you believe. You are not supposed to have any idols. Idols will do nothing good. They will do you bad. You do not put the Lord's name in vain. It hurts the Lord and you don't need to hurt him. Church is the one place you need to go at least every Sunday morning and or night. If you have any problems, he will tell you the right thing. You may not always like the choice he makes, but it is the right one. Always remember that the Lord is your God and he loves you. Always follow the word of God and it will lead you all of your life. Love, Madison. Isn't that Thank you all for participating. We'll have another contest soon, okay?